gifts and my two older sisters. So yeah, I look I look to up, up to all of them. We always had these stories about the, you know, when he was playing in Africa and he was so good that you know the stories. <laughs> 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 so, Dave, what's your first memory of playing football? Uh, first memory is probably when I was around four years old and I was always watching my brother playing football and uh, because I was always on the sidelines, the guys had just joined in, you know, I'm just seeing socks and, mm. and that was it because I was so small. Um, I remember watching my, uh, my dad playing football. Um, I was watching the game with one of my sisters and yeah, we just, we liked what he, what he was doing and then we wanted to try as well. So in, at home, at the garden, we started playing football. I think it was a little bit later, like five or so. And then a year after that, um, yes, I joined my, the first football club. So did, so did my sister. And then from that point on, yeah, we started, we started playing football. And what's the, the first time you want to, per, to be a professional football? <laughs> 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 um, I think it was pretty pretty early when I started watching watching games and I was seeing the the pros playing the games in yeah the World Cup um, Champions League in all these big games and I was like yeah I want to do this as well but back then it was more just of a dream and then yeah I think later on when I really started to get to a, to a better team and play with better teammates and everything, then it got more to reality. What about you? Similar, I think uh, it always starts with the dream and stuff, but then I think around seven, eight, nine, I'm not sure. I went to my first uh, professional club and then from, from there, I think, yeah, as you said, you play with better players and yeah. you progress and then, yeah, the dream becomes more uh, achievable. Who was your role model in daily life growing up? It's difficult, this one. Um, I never really had one guy or a woman who I looked up to or wanted to be and such, but I would say my parents is probably the most important people in my life and, you know, helped me to, to become the guy who I am today. So uh, I would say them. I don't really have like a sports person or something. What about you? When I was younger, and a sport person, it was uh, Raúl, the striker from uh, Madrid, uh, because I was more offensive <laughs> when I was younger. <laughs> um, and now I think it's just uh, pe people in life that um, then do special things. It doesn't always have to be with sport, but obviously I watch a lot of sports, so I like like players like or like LeBron James. They do also a lot of stuff for the people. Um, Roger Federer. He's been around the world and I met him as well. He's one of the kindest persons yeah. I know. So yeah, people like people like them. You think you can beat them in one v one? Easy. <laughs> <laughs> what would you have been if you weren't a footballer? Don't say tennis. Now finish your career. Paddle pro. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I don't. I don't know. Um, I did an education, and basically I could like do a, like a, an office job, stuff like this. So yeah, I think I would have done something else, but I had no idea. I have no idea now. So it's good that I didn't have to find out. <laughs> <laughs> what about you? I have no idea, to be honest. Uh, probably something in sports. I always liked sports, so it must have been something in sports. But the same as you, luckily, uh, I don't have to think about that, but uh, yeah, probably in sports. Not as smart as you. <laughs> what makes you proud? I'm proud where I am today, you know, um, reaching the, the level we are at the moment and what we have done uh, yeah, with our careers and stuff, my career. Um, if I look back so far, I'm, I'm proud what I've achieved so far. Um, yeah, I'm a proud father now as well. It was the first time for me and uh, yeah, something beautiful as well. So I'm very proud uh, of that as well. What about you? Family selfie, that's the most important thing. And yeah, football wise, I mean, yeah, what, what, I, what I've achieved, achieved so far. Um, it's been a long way, not an easy way, but 
yeah, we've been here. Um, we made history last year and I hope we can, um, yeah, make it even better. What's your greatest achievement? I think being a father, yeah. I think that's the best thing. It's a feeling that you can never like imagine how it actually is until you you are a father or a mother. Um, yeah, the love you feel. So I think that's the that's the best thing. Every person doesn't matter how they look or how they are should be respected the same. Because yeah, it's, we're 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 human, and I think we shouldn't look at a, a person differently just because he looks not like, I don't know, every other person that's, that's just around. So I think we should respect every person as, as they are. My dad really wanted us, uh, both me and my brother, to do really well, especially in, especially in school, to be fair. But um, yeah, football, he, was, he really enjoyed it. He always had the stories about the, you know, when he was playing in Africa and he was so good at you know, the stories. <laughs> and, uh, so now he is uh, for sure the one uh, who pushed me the most. Also, my mother, I mean, she was always there when we grew up as kids and my two older sisters. So, yeah, I looked, I looked up, up to all of them. Yeah, I mean, I, I still enjoyed it. I had a, I had a really good time at home. Um, yeah, it's good if you even even now, if I need some advice, I can always ask my, my older sisters and, um, and also my mother. I'm really, really grateful for them. Nobody actually really like encouraged me to play football. They just said I can do what I want uh, as long as I'm happy. And in the end I chose football and they were happy with it. But I uh, first had to finish my education. That was the most important thing for my parents. So yeah, I mean, they support whatever I do. Even if I would stop with football tomorrow, they would still support me. So that, I think that's the most important thing for me. We know that when we play our best football, no one can beat us. I like what I'm seeing from the players at the moment. The WSL is the most competitive league in the world. The players that we have, if we get close to the goal, then we've got a chance of scoring absolutely every single time. It's more than just a game of football sometimes. It's probably a lot of votes from my mum and dad. <laughs> <laughs> we have a lot more games to come, so hopefully, you know, I could break that record. Bunny Shaw! It had to be Bunny. We have to show that nasty side where you have to be aggressive in your tackle. And when we need to, we fight. No matter what they come with, they ain't beating us. The atmosphere and the culture that we have within the team is really, really special. It's going to be one heck of a run. City are very much in the thick of it.